Welcome back yet again to my Ramza only Final Fantasy Tactics run. Man alive, was the last episode something else? Um, I don't know how many times I tried that battle at the execution site. Um, it was ridiculous. I just kept it getting so close that I knew I could do it and I didn't want to give up to grind. I, I continued to not want to grind. As long as I can push forward and actually eke out the wins on my current level, I'm not going to be grinding. Another thing you might be asking yourselves is, well, why don't you just use the calculator? You're facing battles with as many as eight enemies like I did last time. <laughs> the calculator can make quick work of them. And yes, this is true, but I just, it doesn't sit right with me. I, I want to try to do the Ramsa only run no calculator because um, calculator just takes all the fun of it. The grinding is going to take all the fun of it, out of it too. If I wanted to, I could grind the 99 as a ninja and use the desert sand trap level down region degeneration trap in the desert to bring myself back to level 1 as a bard and then re-level the 99 and gain the difference in stat gains for 99 levels worth, the difference between a ninja and a bard. And I could do that over and over and over. Doing it twice would be enough to do 999 damage on every attack and to have almost double the speed of any enemy I encounter. I could do all these things. It would be relatively easy for me to do these things. It would take a very long time but I could do them and it would be so boring to watch I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to force that on you uh, so now we're, we're doing this Ramza only run we're doing it the right way playing it straight we're doing battles after battle after battle hardcore mode just trying to trying to win the battles with strategy and tactics uh, not with grinding so let's let's carry on I'm level 26. I did earn two levels just in the battle at the execution site uh, because goodness was it ever a tough battle. I had to do a lot of different, a lot of attacks, a lot of healing, a lot of running, um, and a little bit of luck got me through it. But uh, just checking out my character. He's only 600 points away from being a master monk. Being a master or not doesn't really convey any benefits to the character there's no like bonus in attack power or anything that comes along with it it's just a nice feather in your cap uh, completionists will always want to master every single job and i do not blame you because i do that every time i play too except for this time because that would be terribly boring to watch um, we are going to go to the store though because i need a particular accessory that will help um, with the second battle of our sub uh, of our two series battles what i need is something to block against sleep and death sentence because there's a character in the next battle this will cancel out sleep and death sentence there's a character who will aggressively cast a area of effect attack that does sleep and death sentence and it's random you'll either get one or the other and honestly either one is a death sentence if you'll pardon the pun to me because the death sentence is obviously a literal death sentence sleep i'll just fall asleep and he'll cast magic on me until i die and that's not fun either so just checking out what else is out there i mean it doesn't hurt to have it in my inventory i don't need any man -fuls. although the higher level mantles might actually be worth it because they offer a very high evasion rate. Uh, the feather mantle later on. I might actually invest in one and see do I want to use that instead of the Germanus boots. But right now, just seeing what's out there. I think that's all. Oh, I do want to see do they have any better uh, clothing? They do. Every little bit helps. Ah, 
as always, we are not save scumming. If things turn sour, I'm not gonna reload. I only reload on a game over screen. So random battle, here we come. Not gonna save scum to avoid the random battle. So this is really the only way I'm gonna efficiently level up because every enemy in this battle is gonna be roughly level 26 which means every attack I'm going to earn around 10 experience points. Uh, whereas in the battles that I was previously fighting, they're 8 or 7 levels below me, and I only earn 2 or 3 experience per attack. Uh, so this should get me another couple of levels, at least one more level up. Uh, that black chocobo is dangerous. They have very high uh, attack with a ranged attack. Um, I think it's four is the distance. Like if I go here, he can attack me from here. Uh, he's very dangerous. I don't want to even risk him doing that. I want to see where he can move. So he can move all the way here. So really, this is all the closer I want to get. I, obviously, I'd survive the first hit. He might hit me for 76, 86, somewhere in that range, but I uh, still don't want to even give him the opportunity, because I'm going to take him out. The good thing about Chocobos is they are weak to physical attacks. I mean, not any more than any other character, but they, have, they just have low HP thresholds, and uh, they will fall in a single double attack. And the good thing about these cats is they cannot stand in the water, so he will not be able to attack me. So you'll have to take my word for it. That black chocobo is dangerous. He's got the chocobo choco ball attack that he didn't even get, get to try out on me. Uh, these gray or green, however you see the color, um, they're like a greenish gray to me. Uh, these squids, um, squid larkin, technically, they are uh, not dangerous at all. They're weak to steel as well if you got swords. Um, but they have a cousin of a different color variant that is red, and they can do a mind blast attack against an area of effect at a long distance. That is dangerous because it'll cause you to either be confused which is not good because you'll just randomly attack anyone. Um, or Berserk, which is also not good because you lose control and you just attack until you're dead. Uh, and you have no control of your character. So neither, neither one is good. Uh, we just want to play... Make sure that's in line. 6.5. We just want to play it slow. Uh, but luckily there's no red squid larkins in this battle, no confusing berserk to worry about. Uh, these red panthers are weak to earth magic and earth elemental, so that's why the earth slash does so strongly against them. So, er, interesting thing about being in water. So, their height is four. If I stand here on a six, it would stand the reason that I could hit them with my Earth Slash, because Earth Slash goes in, a, in an area of effect of a height difference plus or minus two. So, it hits anything from a height of four to a height of eight if I hit from six. However, they're at a depth of one, so technically they're standing on a height three so if i tried earth slash huh it actually will hit them never mind i misremembered that uh i thought earth slash would not hit them well that's a bonus if it wouldn't i would have actually taken out the squid instead but as it is i'd, I'd just as soon have the bobcat dead the red panther yeah i miss i misspoke And these, the rest of these guys are not strong enough to even, even get close to finishing me. 
so I will finish them. Uh, he's got three HP left. What a shame. how much easier a battle is when you're not fighting eight enemies with all really dangerous abilities and very good equipment. definitely save it and probably create a second save slot so there's a few sequences of battles that um, it is wise to have multiple saves because they make you save in between battles uh, there's one notorious one coming up later on in the game uh, but because I'm striving to do this as low level as possible to make it as entertaining as possible I don't anticipate having any trouble with the first battle, but in the second one, uh, it really depends because I'm, I'm not, it's been a long time since I've played that battle legit and not over leveled. I honestly don't know what it's going to take to beat, to beat the enemy. I think the boss has like 300-ish HP, so that'll probably take two or three hits on him. And I honestly don't know what kind of damage he can do to me in two or, two or three hits. So that is why I lay down the extra save. Because I am going to save between battles here. And I just want to be sure uh, that I don't trap myself with no, no chance of, of grinding. I, I'm pretty sure where you position him doesn't matter in this one. Uh, because he runs on from off screen and has some dialogue. The interesting thing about this, this one is easier without party members below because all the enemies below are not going to do anything to me. I'm safely tucked away with, uh, with Gafgarion. It's like that meme, call an ambulance, but not for me because he is going to need an ambulance. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Ramza? Uh, wait there, I'll open the gate. Okie dokie. Not so fast. You got in alright, but you didn't notice an ambush. Damn. Ramza, it's me you must fight with. On guard. <laughs> alright, this is... Payback Retribution for what that jerk put me through in the last battle. He's got a little better attack power, but guess what? We're stuck one on one. I've got HP Restore and I've got Power Break. There's nothing you can do to me. He lucked out that time, but next time I'll get a back attack and his evasion will be down. And those guys are just going to wander around, not having anyone to attack. And then once I finish Gafgarian off, I'm just going to Earth Slash them forever. I'm not going to open the gate. I'll only open the gate if I can't finish them off because they're too far away for the Earth Slash. But these idiots are running in full steam. So he's doing 54 a hit. Uh, this will take me down to 80. The next one will take me down to critical. So I'll be fine. Well, I 
thought I'd get a back hit, but he's clever enough to not get a back hit. But still, it's just a matter of time before one of those connects. Uh, well, that's not good. Well, damn. Was not counting on his counter ability. And really, it's just bad luck that none of those power breaks uh, connected. Cannot believe the luck I've been having on this run. HP and we got the HP restore and now we've got a back attack. It's a little nervy there because if he got a critical that was over but luckily no critical and we got a 63 shot now. We got one. I was really hoping for two but it's over. Just to humiliate him, I'm gonna break him until his attack power is zero. Oh well, one. You can't, but you can't go below one. Just hang on outside. I'll get to you soon enough. It's possible the summoner's got a healing summon. Uh, in which case, I'm definitely gonna take him out first. In the interest of time, I might just see how much damage I can do and, and leave it at that, rather than try to break him. Because he's going to heal for 27, that's going to be 156, uh, leaving him with 52, plus 27, yeah, he's dead in two hits. Two turns, that is. And he's the only enemy in the entire game who will do what he's about to do. And that is, he instantly crystallizes. No other enemy in the game does it. Kidding me? It's ridiculous. I think he'll be dumb enough that he'll show his back again, and I should get a hundred percent back attack. Oh, damn. Did not count on that. This could make things a little nervy. He's got good affinity with me. Damn. Damn, that. That is not playing nice. If I didn't get the HP restored, he would have finished me off. But he's an idiot and he's dead. Uh, is this the end? Goodbye, Gafgarion. Instant crystal. I do want to see what it, his crystal holds, but 
first I want to take a hit at this guy. It would be a real cool thing in this game. I always thought, as a kid, I especially thought if you absorbed his crystal and that taught you the Dark Knight job class. I mean, that would have been so cool. But alas, no. You can only learn very basic skills that he may have. And honestly, you're likely to already know them. Antidote. Eh, it's worth it. I don't even need the HP. You filthy potion. Okay, well, you're next. That's a given. take three hits and she won't start using potions until the next hit and so it's actually gonna take four hits or five even if she uses more than one potion to where I can't get them with the Earth Slash. It's all except this guy. I might in the end have to open the gate just to end this fight. Uh, but I'm going to pick off as many of them as I can before I do that. They won't hide forever. They're not cowards. They're just strategically smart. So if they can avoid damage for one turn, they will. Um, but then if if they're out of range of attack, they'll try to get in range of attack because they're not cowards. So they'll come back. They won't hide in that corner forever, I don't think. Yeah. The other thing is going to be finishing people before they get to heal with the crystal. I'll get a turn before he does. I don't think I'm that quick. So hopefully someone else will get the crystal or it'll just be a treasure chest. And that flipping chemist. Secondary potion item ability. That's it's annoying. will not save him. Only thing that'll save him is running away, which he actually will do because he's critical. Or the crystal. That's annoying. It's time wasting.
exactly 64 on the dot, but she's going to run away to where... Nope, she's not. If she was smart, she would have run away to where I couldn't reach her. I think we're almost to the point where I just want to open the thing. I'm gonna wait a turn, see if anyone else comes a little closer. I might pick off that archer while I can, and then open it. But those other two in the corner, they're, they're not gonna come out. I won't be able to reach them. I realize this is not the most entertaining viewing experience, but surely you'll forgive me given the terrible difficulty of the last last fight. I promise I'll open the gate after I finish this guy though. And I can't move close enough to wave fist. I thought I could. Wave fist might have been enough power to finish him. But He'll die in one more turn. Push this lever. Now you want to come out of the corner, huh? Ten percent chance. It's ridiculous. Oh, don't you even think of it. I need to start buying duplicates of my armor and stuff because people are gonna break it and steal it. Uh, I have lesser, weaker things that I could equip in, in the need that I, in the in the event that I need to, but it's just a hassle. Neither one of them are dead for sure. So I'll get them both to where they'll be. Well, one of them at least is near death now.
That is terrible luck. I need to kill her as soon as possible. She's got a uh, geomancy ability, which could give me an instant death effect with petrify. She has got to go. Good news is she won't actually use elemental because it's a weaker attack than just using her sword. So what she's going to do is use her sword and run. Ironically, the only way they could win is if she used her weaker attack and she will not. She is programmed to use her strongest attack. It's just such a cheap victory if they do that, though. One of my good runs last time was was ruined by an elemental guy cast Hell Ivy on me, and I I got the stop status effect, and was just a lamb to the slaughter after that. Easy battle, but frustrating. Uh, we must save the princess before reinforcements arrive. Who is this we you keep on speaking of? It's just you, my friend. Yes, I'm going to save it, and yes, I'm going to save it in my second slot, because my second file. Uh, this is my backup. This is my one I'm going with, because it's tricky, tricky, tricky. They do give you the opportunity to re-equip, especially if you lose your armor. That's a good thing to learn abilities. We got a master monk now. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think my strategy is got to equip this, obviously. Not that one. This one. Sleep and death sentence. No, thank you. My movement is lower though, so I can't just rush him that easily. He's a long ways away. Uh, so yeah, my strategy is stay alive. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Should be okay. We, we should be just fine. Uh, but I honestly don't remember how much he attacks for because these days I just waylay him for 999 damage with a double hit. So basically 2,000 damage and he's, he's dead before he even can move. Uh, but I haven't done that. We're not grinding that much this game. Uh, I seem to remember he has at least 300, probably around 3, 350 HP. Uh, we will see how it goes. Gafgarian is not as good as he says. Or was it bad luck? Anyhow, you are good. You have the old blood in your veins. Even if you are a bastard. But I don't need your interference anymore. Leave the stone here. If you resist, I'll show no mercy. Where is Princess Ovelia? Why must you save her? You deserted the Beowulfs. What can you change by yourself? 
don't waste energy. Without power, nothing can be achieved. You're powerless. Where's the princess? She's not here. She left for Zeltenia. She chose our help over yours. That's a lie. She has begun to think for herself. She felt unsure of you and chose us for obvious reasons to take the throne. Why don't you join us? You want to get the best of your brother's sales, right? We care about the world too. How about it? I don't want to change the world. I just can't allow people to suffer and die because of some elitist ideas. Change the world? You think anyone really can? I'm not that reckless. <laughs> You're the one holding the stone. You can change not only the world, but the truth of everything with its power. Since you don't seem to understand, let me show you. As a kid, I always pronounced that his name Quecklin, but his name is Kukolin. It's just a poor translation, poor uh, typography of his name. But he's Kukolin, uh, which is the same. The uh, you know he's from Irish myth, um, a hero of Irish myth. And here he's not so much a hero. Anyway, yeah, how about that? Surprised? Now let me have my fun. Let me hear your screams and suffering death cries. Terrifying fight for the first time. Because, uh, you know, you think, oh, he's just one guy. And, and you just rush him or try to rush him. He usually gets his turn first, or he did when I was a kid. And he puts you to sleep or gives you death sentence instantly. Petrification instantly. That, I cannot abide that. 54% chance that this run is done instantly. That's that is horse malarkey right there. Uh, let's see what damage we can do. 114. That's not enough to kill him in one hit. Uh, we gotta survive. 54% chance. And that's the run done. I cannot believe this this crap. That. We're not gonna grind to overcome that. That's not a that's not a grinding situation to overcome. That is a luck situation to overcome. Um, absolute horseshit right there. The stuff we put up with. Good grief. When you're in when you're in a full battle with five five people, four allies and yourself. It's not a huge deal. You can overcome that, no problem. But when it's a one-hit punch, and there's no recourse, like I don't, I, I can't even buy. I like I wouldn't even want to reload the earlier save to try to buy something because there's nothing you can buy at this stage in the game that is immune to petrification. Even if I could, <clears throat> even if I could, I wouldn't want to. Because I need to be immune to sleep and death sentence. So, what a pile of horse shit. And it, it's not—it's not even bad game design because it's—it's it's still good game design. If I had a full—if I had a full regiment of, of allies, it would be no problem. Um, Maybe I should have got the wizard's mantle and had 18% extra evasion just to increase my evasion of that attack. Cause, ay ay ay. But then again, he, he would do, he would do the sleep and death sentence attack, and I don't know if I can evade those or not. Um, I do know that I can cancel them out, which is what I'm going to do now. Good grief. Uh, this gives me a chance though, to talk about another thing he was he was saying with um, 
he was saying that you you abandoned the Beowulfs, that kind of thing. Um, if you dig into the lore of the, the game by checking the, the Brave Story information and like reading all the information about the characters and stuff, it's, it's really interesting because Ramza's name changes in the official data uh, at the start of Chapter 2. He is known as Ramza Ruglia, which is his mother's name, uh, last name. And you, you don't really get that depth of information and storytelling unless you dive into the lore, into the, the text boxes that you can read. Uh, this, that's not really the purpose of this playthrough. Maybe, maybe in the future, uh, if, if there's enough demand for it, I'd, I'd do a playthrough where I, I really dive into the lore. Um, do a 100% run where I get all characters, all cutscenes, all whatever, all battles. Unearth the Execution and the Zodiac Spear, all the good stuff in this game uh, that you can do, but I won't be able to do most of that because I, I don't have the characters necessary to unlock the battles. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm not going to read all this again. Good grief. Defeat Kukolan. There we go, that's fair. It uh, hurts like hell, but it's fair. It's absurd. Is this the power of the stone? Isn't the stone for destroying evil power? But if that's true, then the cardinal's evil itself. This is the power of Lukavi, who once ruled the world. Lukavi? Who are you? Where's the real Draclau? Where? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm Draclau. No, or I should say I was. I surpassed fragile humans by using the stone power. I became God. Those who interfere must die. Uh, so since he's not charging his magic, sorry about that mic bump, since he's not charging his magic, um, my attack power is lower, so it's going to take at least two hits to finish him, and in the meantime he's going to kill me like crazy. Secret Fist does nothing as I thought, uh, so my only play is to heal and run and heal and run until it syncs up that he will actually no that's not my only play i'm gonna power break and run that's really my only saving grace i was gonna do status to see how much power he had of course i can't because these bosses they have unknown stats it's not their it's not that they're not defined though their stats are defined and you can break them down to one uh, but you just don't know how long it'll take so that is very lucky Uh, I'm not going to move so far away that he only has an option to cast his bio. So actually I want him to physically attack me. I'm just going to wait. He's going to cast bio, bio 2 anyway. 57% chance of Petrify. This is horse shit. Uh, one more hit will kill him. If I dodge, please do not Petrify me. God damn it. This is just going to take... It's just going to take... Um, luck. And I'm going to I'm gonna do it until it's done. Uh, <laughs> uh, what in the world did I sign up for? We're going to do this thing. We are going to make it all the way to the end of the game. I have no doubt about that. I also have no doubt about the fact that it's going to be a painful at times gonna be a breeze occasionally mostly it's just gonna be really painful let's do this thing right. Ah. 
so I basically got to survive two to three rounds with him. If he does bio two first go, I'm going to attack him. And then if he does bio two again, I'm going to attack him and win. If he does an attack first, I'm going to have to power break him just to be sure that I'll survive. And then he'll do bio two. I have to survive it. And then that's it. So I have to survive at least one bio two to, to win. It's a 43% chance of survival. Eventually it's going to come good. It's just a matter of time. survive and win or we don't survive and die. Damn it. <laughs> it's comical uh, at this point. We're going until it's done. Uh, it's 48 minutes right now. If you're watching this now and you see that it's a two hour recording, just just know that I went insane and and eventually won. That's 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 all you need to know. Oh my god. I almost want to see what the evasion rate is like with the spell that causes sleep and death sentence. Honestly, if I got death sentence, I could probably finish him in two rounds anyway. I'm going to do it one more like this, and then I'm going to try one with just my battle boots on. Uh, or maybe I'll even put on the small mantle to have extra evasion, because... If I got death sentence, I could probably live. If I got sleep, I might live too, because he'd do a physical attack. It would be more than 100. It might be as much as 150 or 160, but I would survive probably. And then I would be awake and I could, I could retaliate. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I got hopes for this. All I need is to survive once. Dear, dear, dear. Let's do this. I want him to attack first. He's not gonna. He's just going right in for the kill. I mean, either way, he's gonna do bio 2. I just feel like 
him attacking first lets me ease on into the situation quick, like a little more comfortably. I'm not getting petrified right off the bat. I'm gonna try one without without the protection and just see see what he does. I think he will try to cast sleep or death sentence on me, and that one. I mean, it's not an instant kill like the Petrify is. Um, between the two, I'd rather have Death Sentence, honestly, because I can finish him in two turns. Um, so we'll, we'll see how, how it goes. say I can finish him in two turns. If I only get my base hit in the 70s, it'll be dicey because he has, I think he has more than 300 HP. Um, but if I get a boosted hit with him charging his magic attack, I should be able to hit him, get him in the two. I am going to equip a mantle. Now I, I do wish I bought that wizard's mantle, an extra 8% evasion. Let's do this. The only way grinding would help is if I ground until my attack was high enough to take him out in one hit. And I'm definitely not going to be doing that much grinding. I'm just going to continue pressing my luck until, until I get the right evasion. Because only two, maybe three hits will finish him. He's doing Nightmare, which is the spell that does sleep or death sentence. I got sleep, and I don't know how to feel about that, because I don't know what he'll do next. 100%. He's going to give me death sentence. He's just going to do it until I get death sentence. That is evil. Could be stuck in an infinite loop here. I wonder if he has an MP limit. I mean, he must surely. There's death sentence. Now he'll try to wake me up. He'll attack me. Or he'll just wait. What a coward. He'll just wait in the corner. And because I've got a mantle on, I can't get close enough to attack him. See, if I was able to lay a hit on him now... I'd be okay. But next turn I'll be on a counter of one, and the turn after that I'll die. Son of a bitch. Piece of work, yeah. So not having the the protection is not an option because I 
can't get close enough to hit him and I can't hit him hard enough to kill him. Blah. That's very frustrating. All right, let's do this. I'm worried a little bit that I underestimate his HP. I think it's around 300, but it's usually been the case that it was the attack after 300 that finished him, so for all I know he could have almost 400 or more uh, HP. In which case it would definitely take three attacks or more to finish him. means I will have to survive a couple of bio hits unless he happens to want to do physical hits in which case I'll take those all day We got him to do physical. That is... That is good. I need to power break him at least once. And actually, I'd probably rather once instead of twice, because if I do once, it might bait him into doing more physical attacks. If I do him twice, he might just do petrify, um, like he did the first time that I power broke him. So I think that's the best case scenario. Hopefully he'll do a physical. But he won't because he's a freaking coward. Okay, we got 228 on him. Please miss. 43% chance. Why don't you ever miss? I have the worst luck.
if he hit me with nightmare and I got death sentence the first time he would still be in range for me to deal damage against him but I would still only have two turns to finish him and I'd I'm worried I'm really worried that he has more than 300 HP so I don't think that's really an option I'm just gonna stick it out use my defense against nightmare uh, I just have to have to get that 43% chance of evasion to work Honestly, him attacking is a waste of time because he's always going to do bio 2 either way and of course he's going to attack now so now I have to actually hit a power break on him to survive and then he'll still just resort to, to using his damn bio 2 or maybe I can just move out of his movement range Hit him, move out of range, and then he'll use bio because he can't attack. That was the play. Why didn't I? Th oh no. Okay, he's gonna do it for 82. What is he? What is he doing? Bio three. It's only gonna hit me for 82 though. I'm gonna live, and he's charging. And he's dead. Big brain time. Why did I not think of that to begin with? I'm immortal. How can I be losing? It's impossible. I can't die until he resurrects. Was a, that was easier than than it seemed. Easier, uh, easier than it should have been. Easier, easier than I gave it credit for. That that should have done that the first time he attacked me physically. But to be fair, the first time he did that, I didn't know that he had petrify up his sleeves. I just. Well, yeah, I did, because he did it the first time. I, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking right. It's you who saved Ovelia. Delita, Black Sheep Knight under Baron Grimm's and Hyrule. I was sent by order of Baron Grimm's to save the princess. I've returned. Mission completed. Hyrule? Never heard of him. The Baron died in battle last month with the Ryumoku. The black sheep were entirely wiped out. That's why I returned. How's the princess? Sleeping soundly. She's exhausted from the long trip. I heard you brought a prisoner. Yes, sir. Bring him.
Why did you kidnap the princess? We framed Galtana to prevent him from Lazalia taking the regency. Who gave, the, who gave you the order? Prince Larg? One of Galtana's aides who wants to join Larg. Ridiculous. No aides would do that. Silence this lout. No need. Listen. Who is that? Talk. Now. Will you save my life? All right, I promise. Who is it? Him. Minister Galwan. How dare you? It's a lie. I don't even know you. Who seduced you? The queen? That's absurd. I don't know anything. Treason's a serious crime, minister. I said I don't know a thing. Let me say this. We must go to the capital with the Nantin now. Or they may hold you responsible for this plot. First, let's remove Orinus and the, and the Queen. Then get the Princess on the throne. Galtana went to Lazalia and confined Ruvelia in Bethla for kidnapping the princess. And let the princess accede to the throne. But Larg insisted Orinus was the legitimate successor and had him accede to the throne. Then Larg became the regent as a guardian. Immediately after, Larg sent the Hokuten, led by Orinus, to Bethla to, res to rescue the queen. Meanwhile, Galtana sent the Nanten, led by Ovelia. I mean, they're, they're not literally led by them. Arenas is like three years old at this point. But, you know, using his authority and power, that's the same. This is the beginning of the upheaval, which would later be called the Lion War. I do want to save and I'll revert back to my file number one if you please. Twenty thousand dead. Counting both sides, that makes forty thousand. Well over two hundred thousand injured just in our troops alone. Casualties aren't the only problem. Food stock is short as we expected. The real problem's the drought. There's no food and tax revenues are reduced. Storage is at less than half. Lard's probably facing the same problem. I hear crops were ruined before harvest due to rain. More serious are those made destitute by the war. According to Olan, more than 100,000 refugees have come to Lazalia. Haha, <laughs> good. Larg will have problems getting food. This is no laughing matter. The same could happen here. Many refugees may come here. Should we start peace talks? I understand your concerns, but we cannot stop the war. We'll increase tax by 30%. Make sure no one trades grain at high prices. Also, keep an eye on all refugees entering Limbury. Larg is in difficulty too. It's not too late for a peace settlement. 
Enough, Orlando. A peace settlement won't occur. Our nation exists because of the people. We exist because of them. Farmers suffered the most in the war. Raising taxes would hurt them even more. The soldiers are also suffering from lack of food. It's impossible to continue physically and mentally. Mentally? Are you becoming a coward? In the last war, we served by keeping Ordalia out of our land. Are you saying there's no right in this battle? Since when did you start talking about hypocrisy? You can't go easy on them. It's for the people. We can't allow a corrupt royal family to oppress the people any longer. We fight. He's right. Just a little longer before it's over. I never expected to hear that from the one they used to call T.G. Sid. A little longer? Where'd you get that idea? How can you be optimistic? Are you blind? Your words are harsh. Enough. I'm disappointed in you, Orlando. Any more harsh words may mean your life. I won't say this again. If any more of you disagree with my plans, go now. Understand, Orlando? Chapter 3 The Valiant. Delita told me that there's a big tide and he goes against it. If this age of war is the big tide, like a fate we can't avoid, can I go against it? Now I head for Lazalia to tell my brother, Zalbag, there's someone manipulating this war. finally get to be a master monk and stay that way. Oh dear. Uh, get my items back. Shop for good equipment and I think we're gonna call this an episode. Uh, he's got the best equipment he can get. Let me check see. I'm gonna need one of these eventually. A charm, except I don't want to buy it, or I don't want to fit it, I just want to buy it. May as well buy one of everything. Reflect ring? That? I've never ever used one, because reflect is so hard to predict somewhat in this game, um, not like a normal uh, turn-based RPG, but uh, it might come in handy, I don't know. Uh, never know, never know, I've got plenty of cash, I don't need to outfit an entire crew. I'm going to buy an extra one of these. Um, that ought to do it. 31% physical evasion. Knights do get really good equipment with those shields to evade. But I'm sticking with my monk. He's got good damage output. And if I wanted to double hit anyway, I wouldn't be able to equip a shield. Alright, that's, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you so much for sticking that out with me. And until next time, have a good one.